Welcome back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rache. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. So today I went back up to Mayuk in Union City, New Jersey. That's kind of like my feel safe. And this week I found a good little mix of items. I love when I can find you know, a little something here, a little something there. And that's exactly what I got today. So I am absolutely going to head into this right now. But I wanted to give you an update. I spoke about Dasi last week. I've absolutely been loving the golden rum and amber. If you love a musky, um, it's almost like a woody, earthy when it dries down, even though it's um, golden rum and amber. You, you're gonna love the rum, but I just wanted to say I've been enjoying this. But what I've been obsessed with is the amber vanilla, and I believe this is the Tom Ford. I think it's the opium, the black opium. And as you can see, I have been, you know, I've basically been making myself not use it, but one that I absolutely love that I didn't think I would was the fruity almond. Now the fruity almond is inspired by the good girl gone bad. And because I tried this, it's completely finished, but because I tried this, I went and tried the actual scent because I didn't have it. Um, but I love this so much, I did buy this back myself because um, I liked the one that I tried. So finished the bottle, bought the original just because I wanted to see how well it matches up. It's really good, but I really like their version so much that I bought another one. And you know, I will wear them together, this around the little neck, and then I do my spray. But just in case you were thinking of what three to get, these are my current top, um, the Fruity Almond, the Golden Rum and Amber, and the Amber Vanilla. So I just wanted to give you <laughs> what I'm currently obsessed with from Dacier. So those are my three picks, if I was saying. If you love like um, uh, the Baccarat Rouge, the uh, Chanel Mademoiselle, you know, La Via Belle by Lancôme, like that rich feminine um, with some depth and base to it, these are the ones you'll love. Just in case, you know, we have similar taste in perfume. <laughs> I just wanted to shout these out for you, but let's go into the come fifth with me and then I'll come back here and I'll show you what I got. Fun Cow Print by Enzo Angolini. It is a size seven. How much do they want? $25 for this. They're very cute, but that would take up half of my budget. So <laughs> I may have to leave this, we'll see. How about this pair of Volley? for a pop of color, <laughs> maybe. Finally, in the vintage section, I think someone donated all their African wear. It's not in my size, but it would be good to own a <laughs> skirt suit. <laughs> in this, oh, especially this one, this is like tie-dye. Um, I'm not sure, what is this? Yeah, it's like a fondashiki type thing. I'm not sure if you saw the top part. But yeah, I love the tie-dye work on this. That's fun. Um, but yeah, don't get distracted, Roche. Don't get distracted. So we're heading into velvet season and here this nice um, sleeveless maxi by Laura Ashley. Little leaves on it. Diamantes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's out of my budget. It's sixty dollars. Fabulous, <laughs> Laura Ashley, but not today. I saw this and thought this was lovely. Um, just a classic black dress. It is a Kate Spade. They do want forty dollars for it. Um, it's not my size, it's a size ten, but very classic. I love the little um, structured cowl neck as well. Very cute. I like this Jessica Howard dress. They want $20 for this, but it is a size 12. Some like shirt dresses I can buy um, oversized, but you know, stuff like this where you have to put your bust in it. <laughs> I won't be able to, you know, bring that off, but this would have been a cute one as well. This is like a t shirt y um, type of material, jersey type of material. They want $20 for it. 
Um, it's by DBY. I love when dresses have their original belts. That's what drew my attention. But yeah, um, let me try and find if there's anything in my size. This looks very modern. Yeah, that's not a vintage piece for $15. Looks a bit young. But yeah, I'll keep looking through and hopefully there's some more velvet, chocolate velvet. Is a black and white little thing that's not vintage they're mixing these things up here's another little one size 14 i love this for holiday season but yeah let's see here's a cute little one by andrea jovine they want 20 dollars for this i just saw this cute little velvet <laughs> with gold like layering piping whatever you call it um little set this is by vintage talbots also twenty dollars i don't really like um the red plaid but this has like velvet on it it's by maggie lawrence and they want 13. like very very fun take on a <laughs> vest now i'm just running through some of the tops that they have here just so we can see what we're working with sarah morgan i don't see ya that looks like a newer label but vintage inspired is that danny nicole i love me a flower flowers are definitely trending for this year fun green structured they took the label out unfortunately don't know what it is but i think i have enough green jackets i love the militant vibe on this they want 15 for that um rafaela robert lewis that's a newer label lord and taylor vintage lord and taylor i don't like the zip up blazer good old casper um not liking the color scheme on this but yeah i'm just gonna what that bergamo very bright <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to go through. I don't know if I'm going to have any luck today, but I'll just keep looking for now. Another vintage brand I love to look out for is Cachet. I've seen it spelled so many ways. This one is Cachet. <laughs> comment in the comment section. I've seen Cachet with accent over the E, Cachet with no accent, and now I'm seeing Cachet. So I don't know. If it's French, then it, this would still be pronounced cachet. Um, but yeah, I just loved the diamantes here. And even if I wanted to wear it by itself, then I could. You have that diamante here. Um, they want $40 for it. It is a size 14, so I'd have to pass. But just by itself as a um, sleeveless, it has a fabulous split um here oh my god holiday season is coming up oh my goodness this would have been so cute this is a stunner it's more of a purpley blue than this is okay it's closer to this color <laughs> but it's more still more purpley blue um this fabulousness is by monique Ullier, and monique Ullier goes for quite a bit even though it's ml you could that would still go for about six hundred dollars um so if i was able to just buy it and store it in my closet <laughs> i would because it's, they're only selling it for um forty dollars i believe or oh, fifty dollars but that's still a really good price for something like this but you can feel it um you can feel the make so something like this i definitely you know buy it when you see it and just store it but I'm gonna hold out on this one because this one is for a very formal event and I don't do too many at that at this point. Um, I keep saying I'm gonna crash a wedding, but <laughs> I'd have to crash the wedding party as well in this, but um, gorgeous, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to this. I saw this fabulous vintage leather skirt, um, but it does have a hole, so I'm not sure. If I could do something creative to keep this, but when you get these um, strong vintage, like structured vintage skirts, it's hard to find. Uh, so I'm torn. They want 15 for it. It's by Claudia Barnes. 
sad. I'm in the bags section. I thought this one was pretty cute. It's giving Gucci vibes with these horse bit and the monogram-esque print. Um, $10 is not a bad price. I love this one. Oh my goodness. This is giving me mega Caribbean vibes. You know, full leather. I forgot what you call this. Um, carved um, bag they want. $40 for this. Well worth it. <laughs> um, what else is here? They have... There's this brown leather bag. And this is by lauren conrad i really like the color of this you know this type of color leather i'm not in the need of this type of bag but very cute oh this is a fun um Dooney and burke looks like it's in a very good thing did i see this here the last time harley worn i love the patina um very louis vuitton-esque type of patina Let's hear how much it is. Drum roll, please. Okay, $40. <laughs> but very cute. I'm also loving this oversized coach bag. It does have some spots um, on it and some wear. So how much do they want? $20. Okay, so for this size and for the amount of wear, I think that's a good price. Especially because for these things, you're just throwing them around anyway. <laughs> um... But yeah, very cute. about $62 today I can never find my receipt um, but I do remember it being $62 and some change um, this is a place that you have to check yourself out so I remember specifically $62 and something um, I'll start out with the first thing that I got and the first thing I got is this little vintage hat I know <laughs> now I'm not going to the Pentecostal church service but in the fall i don't really like wearing beanies i'd much rather cover my head with you know a nice vintagey hat um this is by fine millinery by august accessories this is what the label looks like if you can see that so a bit of a little vintage um church lady hat but i i don't mind i love it you know with like a shirt and jeans or um like tweed pants or a full suit with this goals so <laughs> that's the first thing i got this was only seven dollars so i thought why not and black goes with everything right next up i got two bags i don't know if i'm thrifting for fall or i'm still thrifting for summer you know it's this little mid mid time where you don't want summer to end but you know fall things are starting to come on the rack a bit more but anyhow I picked this up <laughs> it was in the kids section this was only 250 um, but I really liked the straw bags and I love the straw work here absolutely love that what I wanted to do was change out this little thing here probably to like um, if I can get like a leather shoelace like a brown leather shoelace you know all they did was tie it in here so i think i'd be able to just like loop around some leather shoelace and like you know tack it somewhere or knot it the same way but yeah so i really liked the baskets and i loved um the, the appliques on it 
but I just don't love this. So I changed this out. But yeah, so that's the next thing that I got. I just thought it was very, you know, very summer cute. I still have a, I still have a couple weeks. It's okay. I still have a couple weeks of summer. Next, I did get another bag. I got this little vintage shoulder bag. I really just love the color. I loved this little um, design on the front. It does have a little pocket here, um, here. It has, and it's dead stock. You can, it still has all the tags on it. It is genuine um, split leather little tag here as well. And inside it has one section here, another section here, and there's a little zip on the back here. So I just, this, I just thought this was a fun one and I decided to grab it because it would be a really good shoulder bag for the fall. I'm loving this oxblood color, you know? So a little straw bag for the summer, a little ox blood for the fall. I love it. Oh, I wanted to update you also on this um, furla bag. Initially, I had said that there was just one, <laughs> one big open space here, but actually on both sides of it, there's a pocket here. And not only is there a pocket here, there is a zip here. So I just, I was happy enough just to have this little middle section, but um, it actually has three other <laughs> pockets that I can use. I'm, I don't know how I didn't see that, but just to update you on that one as well. But yeah. Next up, I may not do all over red, but when I saw this, I thought this would be a great little pop of color for the feet. Um, I tried it and it was my um, size, this is a, it says size seven, US seven, but actually it actually fits. It's by Vale. It's an Australian black, Australian brand. And in lieu of getting the Adidas Sambas in the red, you know, this will, this will work. I think this will work for me. So this is the next thing that I got. I think this was like $13. So not a bad little, um, trade off 13 over a hundred. It works. So here is the red sneakers and I've just popped it on with this. I thought, you know, breaking up a more neutral tone with a pop of color is kind of what I had in mind. So I've thrown on this leopard, I mean, zebra print, uh, what do you call this, corduroy jacket with some jeans and um, this little pop of color. And I think it works exactly how I wear it. You know, I do have a red blazer. So I don't think it would be, you know, OTT if I had on a red blazer with this as well. <laughs> but I think in general, this is probably how I wear it. More neutral overall and just a little hint of color on the feet. And I think the little touch of um, ox blood as well would work. It's like hinting on what's to come on the feet. So I do love the ox blood with this combos. I don't own a lot of sneakers. I don't do a lot of sneakers, but the ones that I do own to wear has to be like comfortable and fashionable. So <laughs> I do love these. Um, yeah. So this is a good little find. So I've gone ahead and paired it with the red blazer and you know, it doesn't, it's, it's not screaming as I thought it would. So <laughs> absolutely love it. Throw down the furlough bag with this look. And yeah, so I could absolutely, you know, go red on top and red on the feet as well. It works. So the last two things that I got are sets. The first one is this velvet skirt set. Um, and it's just a black velvet skirt set. It's by August Silk. So it's like... 90s august silk just regular little black button so i could wear this casually and of course i could always dress this up if i wanted to and the skirt has a little split in the back what worried me is that the skirt is a size large whereas the top is a medium but because there's no like pockets or anything like that if i need to take it in it won't be too much of an issue so that's the next thing that i got a black velvet i've started with a black i've started with the velvet guys you know me and velvet and fall, um, but that's the next thing that I got. So the beauty of sets like this is it's as simple or as dressed up as the shoes you're wearing right now. I'm just wearing this satin with pearls. So even though it's a flat little mules, it still feels very luxurious, 
very sophisticated but on a more casual sense and I just love how it drapes. It's actually not an issue with the sizing, this top being medium and the skirt being a large. I think it fits very comfortably. So I've just changed the shoes to these Manolos with a little cap toe. I'm mixing metals here, there's a silver cap toe, um, but I'm wearing, I just grabbed this little gold, vintage gold chain bag to go with the earrings. Um, I could easily switch out the earrings for like a diamond tea. Just grab a little silver clutch. But for today, <laughs> I think, you know, just by pairing the heels on, I've done nothing else to the outfit, which is why I didn't want to touch too much. I just wanted to just switch out the shoes, grab a different bag and just see what it looks like. Um, and it's still got that you know, elevated evening wear feel. Um, I could probably tie it up. This is a thicker fabric, so I'm not sure if the tie, tie thing, tie trick will work. It could probably work. It's a little bit bulky, but it does um, give you a more defined waistline if I wanted to do that. It's still, because it's just a random knot, it's still quite effortless. Um, a type of look so I do I'm gonna enjoy this I'm enjoying it right now <laughs> this is you know when I start trying on pieces like this it makes me um, a little more excited for fall I hate the cold but when I have stuff like this to wear I'm like okay maybe it can be a little chilly <laughs> so I can wear this outfit so yeah so this is how it looks if it's tied so I'm still playing around with this look I've just added this little um, thin Gucci belt uh, push the sleeves up added a little vintage uh, choker just to add some more interest to the neckline because I wanted to button it all the way up and I've popped some color on the feet just to you know still make it very elegant and very evening um, but still quite playful so this is what this looks like so I'm gonna have fun just throwing things on this you can do so much with and um, yeah just wanted to see <laughs> I really but you know the simplest pieces you can get the most miles out of so and the last thing that I got I just had to pick this up it's a little big it is the silver um, skirt I mean dress and blazer set and I think the reason I got it it was originally $40 but it was half off so it's $20 so um, I figured you know the good thing with this is I can wear the dress by itself and I can wear the blazer by itself I definitely not wear both of them together there's no need to <laughs> I think I can get away with belting this even though it's a little um, roomier but I really just loved the diamantes on this going all the way around and it's also on the blazer so I really 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 wanted to try this and it is by Cachette, Cachet, so many Cachets I don't know what's this one, <laughs> Cachette <laughs> and then I have the blazer so um, it's 60% rayon and 40% polyester and this also has the rhinestones going all around and it's made so well not one of the rhinestones are missing you know and they feel really good and solid in nowadays the rhinestones fall out after a week or two but anyhow <laughs> This is what the blazer looks like. I'm not doing a very good job. So this is a blazer. You guys will see better when I try it on. So I'll try these on for you. And finally, it is this dress. So <laughs> one of the reasons I wanted to try this, this is the wild card, but I tried it on over my dress in the concept with me. And I loved how it looked with a shirt under it. So I've just paired it with this vintage zebra um, vintage secretary blouse the pussy bow and I really love the aesthetic of it it's if it wasn't a black tie the thing is a dress like this with the with the jacket is very formal making it a black tie and you'd probably be able to only wear it once but being able to wear it as like a jumper dress belted with a shirt under it it gives it so much more wearability so it's like a dress down formal which is what i love with this the biggest challenge for me with this was finding the correct belt i i went through so many belts because i don't have a lot of silver accent belts this one is a little more casual than i'd like i would love a, a thinner um belt with a smaller like silver 
thing I think would go with it. Even a diamante, which I thought I had, but I can't find. But we're just gonna work with it. I do love what it looks like. I changed all the airing because um, the gold wasn't working with it. So I put on a little diamante just to go with the diamante on the um, trimming right here. I have two bags. This one, um, you know, now I know why people have so many bags because you're looking for the right <laughs> balance with something like this. This is more of a formal evening wear um, type of bag, but if you're putting it with something just a little more casually, it could still work for the look. Whereas if I took this one, it's giving that dress down formal look that I'm trying to achieve with this. So I do <laughs> love this dress with um, with a shirt under it. I put it back on with the Manolos with the silver cap toe. So I'm doing silver and pewter here, which I don't do a lot of, but all together, especially for like fall and winter, I do love me a gray look. And I think this would be the perfect like, um, event wear party outfit for something like that so i love it i love this little play of the split here as well so you know it's just one of these things where you're not going to walk in looking like everyone because sometimes with these events everyone runs to zara and you might you know be worried that someone is wearing exact same thing you are and in something like this i know there's no one that's gonna show up looking like me so absolutely love this i did have to pin it a little in the bust section but it's a very small alteration that would be needed um so yeah so this is my little wild card <laughs> shirted um evening dress and i really love this i need to work on my silver buckle belt game um in my closet but outside of that love love this look and the best part is this is a set, so it's a gift that keeps on giving. I'm just throwing the blazer from the set with these, you know, dad jeans. Kept it very casual. Um, I don't have diamante anywhere else, but I can definitely represent in the shoe section. So this diamante uh, Nina little evening wear shoes, kidney heel, and I'm just throwing it on, giving more diamante. And I definitely prefer this clutch, even though it's very formal and evening wear. I definitely prefer it with something like this. So you can see the glitter on the diamante right here and also on the buttons. And altogether, this is just a very chic, casual um, little evening wear. So, you know, fun dinner, event, and it's all set. I can't believe I'm looking at all these event wears. We're still in August, slow down. <laughs> But the time to buy it is when you see it, so at least I know I have some pieces set for party season. And this is the last look and absolutely love this. Perfect fit, shoulder pads, what else do I need? Yeah. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. This is a very glam outro. I love it. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Dossier. I will put the link in the description box. I just wanted you to know my favorite ones, not Spawn. Also, Model Image 5, I don't get money every time you use it, so feel free to share it with your friends and family so they can get um, discounts off Dossier. Um, and if it's 5% if you only buy one, but if you buy the bundle that I recommend or another three, then you get an additional 5% off. So that's a fun little incentive to try. But also, don't forget to let me know what look is your favorite? What piece is your favorite? As well, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you to join the family. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.